Hello Guardians, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. I know I literally just made a Guardian Games rant kind of video just there, but there's a few more thoughts I've had now since I'm actually already falling out with the event, so I thought I'd actually just make this in advance and give a few more thoughts on the event. So before I was talking about like the event and how laurels are like, you know, it's weird because you have to pick it up in some events and then in other event or I say events, in playlists, but in other playlists like Gambit and Crucible, it just it's automatically goes to your inventory. I didn't say Crucible last time, I know. I edited it in this subtext, okay? Just leave me alone. But I want to actually talk more about the event itself right now because as of right now, the Warlocks won basically the first week. They're going around with their Golden Crowns. But as of me entering the game for the last few days, unfortunately the Hunters have just... They, they're like, nah, we're, we're taking this back. And yeah. So I don't know if I'm going to show that in the back, or if it's even changed again by the time I've actually recorded this voiceover. But yeah, um, a few things to know. Uh, doing the playlists that I left out last time, uh, talking about, they're really, really worth your time to do, even just for one character. Uh, so obviously, again, I'm just going to mention real quick. You can get the glowy crown in obviously gold, silver, or bronze, depending on your class. Obviously, Warlocks got first, uh, Hunters got second, and Titans got third. Uh, by standing on the circle just by Ava Levante, you'll see like the class symbols on the ground and yeah. When it comes to the torches, you light them up by doing the thing. Now, I, I'm not sure how the casual one works. I think you just like keep going until you accumulate enough points and then you can get like platinum, uh, the platinum reward at the end, which I just got an exotic, uh, which I'm not going to lie, I was kind of disappointed. I was, I was kind of hoping for like another uh, title that was like deep sighted with uh, masterwork on, honestly. Because, like, I think I've gotten three to four Masterwork titles by now. Like, that's how frequent they drop, and a lot of them have been deep-sighted as well. Which brings me over then to the other side of the uh, torches that you see, the four torches. Uh, I did that, like, once with my friend. Uh, the Nightfall, getting, like, the highest I could, I think. No, I think I got it myself, actually. But, yeah, no, basically I hit Platinum, because you, uh, you have to get over 150k points. Which is actually pretty easy, like... If you're actually, like, holding back and killing stuff, and if your teammates are doing the same thing and not trying to, like, breeze through the nightfall for whatever weird reason, then, yeah, like, you can get through it in no time. Like, obviously, with the amount of points you need. Because, basically, once you hit over 150,000, that's it. Well, honestly, uh, if you want to go for that top 10% uh, emblem, I think it is, yeah, you can, obviously, go for higher points. I know people are getting, like, nearly, like, what? Oh, I think it was, like, 500k points from... Like a farm, you could literally farm yourself for revives, <laughs> which is like the funniest thing ever. So you don't even have to kill anything else in the like whole strike. Just kill yourself for like, what, 20 minutes, I think it was. Like it, It's a really long time. So I personally wouldn't recommend like, you know, uh, doing that because you probably go insane. But you know what? If you're really desperate for a, a Guardian Games emblem, then go ahead. Now, I will say, sorry, I need to go back to the torches that like... Uh, those torch rewards are really worth it when you do the Nightfall one. Uh, so, even from bronze, I think you just, like, I think you get a title every time. And at the end, you get, like, an Ascendant Shard. So, like, you know, if you weren't getting enough Ascendant Shards or, like, buying them or whatever, if you don't want to buy them or don't have enough to buy them, then, you know, that this is a good way to get them, you know? And, like, there's obviously another two weeks to try and uh, do this as well. So, you can get an extra two Ascendant Shards just for doing a really easy Nightfall method because they actually turned on... Uh, matchmaking for a higher difficulty nightfall which might i mention um i think somebody i think it was rick Hackers or something it was just mentioning like what if this is like a big test to see like how matchmaking in like higher nightfalls would work and honestly i think it's really successful especially with the scoring system and getting medals i think just the medals like strike medals in general should just be introduced to all the strikes i think that would help freshen up the um like strikes playlist so like if there's like I don't know, maybe like a triumph for getting like all Vanguard medals, then, you know, you could try and actually like go for that in the strikes or something, you know? Uh, I will say that obviously the scoring thing is good as well. It's, it's just, it's just good in general. And especially like right now I'm like grand with trying to do the strike because like I, I did grind enough during Witch Queen to be able to do the 1550s with no bother. But uh, I, I think everybody's still getting pummeled by um, Alakul when he just literally just rapidly fires Ark like bolts at you so yeah so if you see anything arc in that uh strike you know st stay clear of it for now 
I just hope to God the Devil's Lair isn't next man in that arc, like <laughs> Mod and the Fire is on, because that would be like a literal, eh, literal nightmare. But yeah, again, that's worth it. The strikes are really good. Um, I'm actually starting to get more surprised with the event. Obviously, like now that I'm not playing it as much, like I've kind of exhausted it. I'm basically at this point just waiting for. Um, I, I don't know. I guess I'm just waiting for next week now, just so I can play a bit more. And when it comes to the title itself, though, I didn't mention this, but like some of the titles that drop that are like um, masterworked fully and stuff from the podium, even like when you're just dunking in medals like platinums and stuff, uh, or I think it's more common with the torches, you can get a, a title with like double perks, like in thing. I, I, I can't remember how you describe it because I'm not really a guy that really uh, goes over like guns in Destiny, but like. There's a good few perks you can get on just the one gun. So if you get, like, at least three of them guns, I'd say, is the max, like, you should probably aim for, or minimum. Like, you'd basically have the title with all three, or, yeah, the title with all, like, the perks available for that gun. And then you probably won't really have to grind for the rest of the event, especially if you get, like, different perks on all three of the guns. And, yeah, I must say, the ghost projection things on your arms, that's pretty cool as well. It, well, for some people it might be annoying, but I think it's a better use of ghost projections than using them on a ghost. And yes, they are ghost projections. You can't tell me otherwise. They literally act the same as ghost projections. Like, And I don't know if you noticed, but like when you uh, look at one in particular, like on one shoulder, it, it like grows bigger. So like it it looks a lot bigger to the like side you're looking at it and stuff. And I thought that was a cool little detail. Another cool little thing in Guardian games when you're in the tower is that if you've got the like highest nightfall score in the tower, you'll literally just light up gold, like a light beneath you and all that, which I think is really cool. Oh, and I also forgot to mention in the strikes itself, you get this like buff. I, I can't remember how I got it or why it's there, but honestly, it's kind of cool. Uh, jumping high mm, might be okay, like if you get used to it during the event, but other than that, like it's just a cool little boost in the strikes. Uh, well, I, th I think that's really it. All I've got to say is that I got the exotic ship by accident because, like, I was just, like, farming and I was like, oh, I, I dunked enough medals in to get this, like, free exotic ship. Let's go. But, yeah, other than that, actually, I, <laughs> this event has been really good in encouraging me to get more Bright Dust. Like, I've been doing put-off challenges that give Bright Dust and stuff. And I've also been picking up the Guardian Games bounties at the same time so my laurels don't build up. And I've obviously picked up the weekly ones version of that. And if I'm going into like a strike, Crucible Gambit, I obviously pick up some extra uh, Bright Dust to go with it. So yeah. My seasonal rank was probably like a hundred and like, I don't know, let's say like 109, maybe like 115 or something like that around that ballpark. And now it's like, I swear it's like in the 140s now. Like it just shows how much I've started the leveling up or level up since I've started playing this event. But yeah, anyway, I thought I'd pop on, talk a bit more about Guardian Games, because I I think I was, like, I think I was more negative in my last, like, rant. I can't really remember, I'm not going to lie. Like, everything's a blur to me right now, because not only does my, like, ear, uh, has, yeah, not only has my ear not cleared yet, I don't know if you heard during this recording, but my stomach's making weird sounds, because I, uh, suddenly just have diarrhea now. It's <laughs> just, why not? It's not that bad, though. Um, I would taken some stuff for it, so... Hopefully, uh, I'll get better eventually. It's so funny, though, that it like it literally takes me getting sick and bored to be able to, like, say to myself, you know what? Go on, Joe. Record more videos. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? But anyway, Guardians, I'll let you go this time. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, obviously like it. Comment your thoughts on Guardian Games and some other stuff I can go over in Guardian Games. I might even go over some of the items in the shop because I thought some of them were pretty cool. And even some of the Bungie Store items. And no, I'm not going to buy something from the Bungie Store. I need to save my money. I just can't tell you why I need to save my money. It may or may not be related to Sherry Arbor's story. But yeah, you can check that out. Uh, playlist in the top description. Maybe in the comment if I actually remember this time. I'm actually going to... I looked that up now just in advance so I remember. Also subscribe and hit the bell if you do so desire. I do hope to continue making <clears throat> I do hope to continue making Destiny 2 videos at least till the end of the year and then I'll see if I'm going to continue or not. So, yeah. Thanks for listening.